guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be going over the books i read in august just a little bit late um i have both dogs on my lap right now so don't mind their noise and their craziness they think it's playtime um so i'm gonna be i don't have like any of the books that i read in august like the actual physical books goodness okay boys how about you go Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna be going off my iPad and my Goodreads and what review I gave it and why I gave it that review. The first book I read was Devonshire Scream, a Tea Shop Mystery by Laura Childs. Um, that was a very hard read for me. It's a mystery. Um it just wasn't it for me and I honestly don't know how I managed to make it through that book. It was pretty dry. First off, I just didn't relate to the characters. I didn't understand what the girl's background was and why she had this like relationship history with, um, it sounded like she had like a history with the police and helping them solve stuff. I'm not too sure and everything just felt very unrealistic um emotionally so i gave it a three stars and i honestly probably should have given it a two or a one um i give props because i didn't guess who the murderer was but still it just wasn't my thing hi oh no both both boys are in the shop um and then the next one was the taking of jake livingston by Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Uh, this book I gave a four star on Goodreads. Um, <laughs> this book I should have given maybe a little bit more, like a five star review. But I think I kind of stand behind my four star. There is, I listened to this one on audiobook, so that's probably where I am coming from on the four star review. It's there was times where it was a little hard to follow along what was going on that I think could have been resolved with actually reading it versus having listened to it and I listen to my audiobooks while I work too so there are some times where I'm kind of like a little bit more on the distracted not distracted actually focusing on my work <laughs> um so I can't say that I was necessarily distracted from listening to the book um but I thought it was really cool that uh this book, the main character um, was a person of color and gay, and first off, that's awesome that there's a book out there that has that kind of main character, and it goes through those um, issues and what it's like to be a person of color and gay, and it goes through those issues and what he's thinking and what he's feeling, and it was just really cool to understand his point of view. Um, but the reason why I give it four stars is because it's sometimes hard to follow for me. But again, listening issue. Um, I read this next book called Beyond the Pale Motel by Francesca Laia Block. Lia Block. Um, I don't know why I gave it this high of a rating. I gave it a four star review. Um, probably should give it three. <laughs> uh, this book was about a hairdresser with her best friend and she's going through a divorce and she's a recovering addict and I hate it. like this was so early into August that I forget and it's like almost the middle of September but I just remember and I actually read this one so I, it, this one wasn't a listening issue but the reading issue was like it, sometimes her thoughts because it's from her point of view sometimes her thoughts are so chaotic um and just like that doesn't make sense why are you bringing that up like why are you bringing up a memory for this moment you know and then just some of her like just her thoughts were a little funky and i think that's kind of what made it hard to follow it made it hard to understand but that I mean, if anyone were to make a book on my thoughts, they would be very confused. So I get I have to give a little credit there. Maybe that's why I gave it a four star. But um 
the ending I didn't expect. You always expect a certain type of ending uh, with mystery books uh, and thrillers and this surprised me. Um, so that's also probably why I gave it four stars. That usually doesn't happen in a book. The next one was The Cousins by Karen McManus. Oh my gosh, this one was so good. So good. I gave it a five star rating. I would highly recommend you read it. It is so good. So it's pretty much about this, um, this like family, they have a bunch of kids um, and all the kids are cut off from their mom all of a sudden. And they have their own kids that go on with their life. And the grandma invites all the grandkids to come work for her on their island over the summer. And then the kids get there and the grandma never invited them. Dun dun dun. But you gotta read from uh, like every person's point of view and it's kind of interesting to see what they think and their perspective on what's going on. I also listened to that one and that one's a little bit easier to um, pay attention to. Oh, okay, so I listen to a lot of audiobooks. So this one was another audiobook. This one was called The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda. I gave goodness, King Size made a good card dog right now. The safest Hey, I'm trying to talk here. The safe I gave this a four star rating. I listened to this one on my um library app and I was a little bit I thought that this was going to be a hard book to follow and get into um I started listening and within like the first five minutes I was like nah I don't think this is gonna be for it for me but I should still listen anyways it'll give me something to listen to because I'm kind of out of my podcast phase I'm not really listening to podcasts I'd much rather listen to an audiobook so I was like just just keep listening and it actually been, was really suspenseful and at least like I was like oh my gosh what's gonna happen next what's gonna happen next and I was thoroughly surprised by this book um I gave it a four star reading I think the reason why I didn't give it a full five is just because that initial beginning was kind of hard to get through and you're trying to figure out why it's so dry in the beginning you're like get to it um I felt like it almost uh The, the premise of the story was like the mom was kidnapped a long time ago. She had a baby from one of these people and the, now the daughter's all of a sudden kidnapped and I think it's related to the mom's original captor and they don't really go into that until the very end of the book. So I think that's where it gets a little bit more confusing and it was hard to follow because you're like, why does this matter? Why do they think that? My point of view. Next one, there's a little, okay, we're almost there. Cut and Run on Audible um, by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. And they, this was an interesting premise story. Because it was an Audible original, I felt like they had a lot more to go into their production. So listening to it was kind of fun. The story was kind of dumb. Um, it would have been a cooler book and it could have been a more suspenseful book, but I think because it was meant to be like just a fun listen on Audible and not like a actual written out book, but that's why it's not that great. But I still give it four stars because I really like the production on it. Ooh, and this was another good one. And I found out that there's a second one to this one, a second book. Um, I read The Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Oh my gosh, it was really good. Um, this one I gave a five star rating. I was trying to figure out the whole, like, this is one of the first few books that I was actually very actively trying to guess who, um, did the murder. And I was really trying to, like, think about these characters. For some reason, I developed a connection with the main character, Pip, and given I thought her name was a little weird, but I developed a connection with them and it just was a really interesting read and listen. And so it was just like, I was taking on this adventure. 
So I gave it five stars. It was very good. And I found out this weekend that they have another book, the book two, and I was like, oh my gosh, I had to read it. So it's on my um, to be read list. Okay. And okay. I have two left. I read Fifty Shades of Grey. It was really rough to get through. I I like romance novels, I think. I've only read a few. Um, they're good. This one I just oof, I just could not uh, stand Anna Anastasia or whatever. She drives me nuts. She drives me bonkers. And then like I think it's also maybe the way that the author describes Christian. You're just kind of like I don't know big eye roll. I haven't seen the movies. Um, probably on my list to see how the book compares to it but I gave this book a three star. It just wasn't my thing. And then last but not least for August was The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I gave it a four star review. I was not expecting that ending. It probably should have been a five star reading, um, but I think I gave it four stars because I was upset about the ending. <laughs> so it probably, like, either way, it was a really good book. I would recommend it for sure. The ending was a, a cliffhanger and you're kind of, you don't get closure and I don't like that. Normally with books I'm like, I need my closure, I need something to get me through to know that either A, there's another book or B, this is okay, like the ending's okay, we're okay with the ending, but no, I got none of that. So that's a disappointment and I texted my friend shortly after and I was like, what was that ending? What was that? So, um... That's all I read for August. I'm pretty proud of myself because that, the guest list I literally finished on August 31st and that's why I was um, taking forever to upload this because I was listening and then I forgot and then I got busy and what a yada yada. Um, we'll see how my books go for September. I will give a spoiler and say I read Midnight Sun. That was over 600 pages. I'm not thrilled that I read that early preview of next month's book, but oh my gosh. Anyways, we're, we're not in September's books, we're in August books. What did you read this month? I would love to hear what you guys read. Um, if you guys have read any of these books, give your thoughts below. Um, I try not to go into too much detail about what the book was, mainly because I forget. Um, <laughs> I like it's that was so long ago it was a month ago and I barely forget um I could like read the little plot line but really we're just here for the review and what the book was is it worth reading there is a handful of books from last month that I would recommend and then another handful that definitely was not all right thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next video um and thank you